Hi, I'm John Bundy, notorious YouTuber, and you are watching Ollie, aka 8 Bit Boy UK. Content warning is advised. If you watch Ollie's content, then you may start to find yourself purchasing Master System games that you had no intention of ever picking up. Because he will make you want to play these games and then you will want to go and buy them. You have been warned. Hi guys um, and welcome back to the channel and um, thanks very much for joining me. So I've been talking through my collection quite a bit recently and I've done some videos trying to give you guys a bit of an idea of where you need to be at if you want to get full sets or that sort of stuff. Um, hopefully that's useful but what I wanted to also um, talk about is um, for those people that are on the journey to a full set or maybe if you're not there are some really cool subsets that you can pick up either along the way or if you're not really if you don't have the appetite to go for a full set there are some really awesome subsets within the master system that are a bit more bite-sized um, that's not to say they are easy far from it um, but there are other subsets out there that you can go for for complete sets within the master system library and that's what I wanted to talk to you about today so to start off with and you know they don't you you can you can make any set that you like and um, just use your imagination but this is just a, a few ideas uh, of what of, of what I what I collect for so hopefully it's of interest and of use to you guys right so as a a first one I've recently just completed my card set um, this is Bank Panic. This is the last one that I got. So I now have a complete PAL set of Sega cards. That doesn't include Hang On. Although, of course, Hang On did come in as the pack-in title for a lot of Master System consoles back in the day. But it was only released um, with, the, uh, with the case and the artwork and whatnot um, in, I think, Australia. So you don't need it for the full set that I'm going for. Anyway, um, this is the last one that I have to complete my set. I know that my buddy Clint did a video just about these. So I will try to pop a link in the description below to his channel. Um, go and check out his video if you want to look at more about these. Um, the next one, and again, I'll, I'll, I'll mention Clint as because I think he's done similar. So I, I again, I've got I've got all of the kicks variants as well. You probably see them up on the shelf there in fact um, there are five of these and they're not easy to find at all um, but they are quite a nice subset to at least if you're going towards a full pal set so you don't go stark raving mad along the way to feel that you've completed and finished something off as you're going along but even if you're not this is a really nice set to collect for now the, now the kicks uh, variants they were actually a budget release uh, back in the day and you could uh, you could pick these up a little bit on the cheap after the game had been out for a little while they are quite tricky to pick up and some of them do fetch a pretty penny on ebay but if at all possible i'd try and look keep your eyes peeled for these out in the wild i remember my mate andy picked up um the winter olympics which is this one um, and he picked it up uh, just on a website a retro game website for a fiver a, a two or three years ago I think so there's definitely some bargains out there you've just got to keep your eyes peeled but a really nice subset to go for and it doesn't take up a lot of space either with just five of them in so you've got a Brazilian subset as well and within within that there are other subsets so you could just go for the blue spines like this one um, I didn't pay too much for this, but it's not a hugely cheap game, unfortunately. And my buddy Kev uh, is going for a full tech toy set. I think he's only got a handful left, maybe five or six left. And then he's going to be there, you know, so not a cheap one, but a really nice subset to go for within the Master System world set and the Master System library. So this is my copy here of Street Fighter 2. A lot of people didn't realise that this came out on the Master System, but it definitely did, and it's a fantastic um, game. Uh, a lot of people, it, of course it doesn't compare 
to the um, Mega Drive or the Super Nintendo versions. But yeah, it's, it's a really nice one to have, actually, in the collection. And I think the music um, and the, the gameplay, if you can get your head around playing with just two buttons, I think it actually plays pretty well. Not for everybody, though. Um, I'm not really here to talk about the gameplay, just the sets themselves. Um, within um, Brazil as well, there's also cardboard games. And there were about 80 of those that were released. Uh, as well so you could go for the cardboard set if you wanted to but I definitely recommend getting yourself a middleman you're going to need somebody over in Brazil that can help you collect and get these sent out to you so just do your homework so one of my more recent acquisitions this is um, Sapo Zool I did a video uh, just uh, the other week uh, with regards to collecting two of the Portuguese purples as we refer to them over here. And we call them that because of the bottom of the uh, and the spine here, the bottom of the case and the spine here. Um, again, these were a budget release, really, in Portugal exclusively. There are 15 of these in total. Now, be warned, one or two of them are extremely rare. They really are very, very scarce and they command extremely high prices. So, not for the faint hearted, these ones. Um, but yeah, if you want to go for a full set of these, there are 15. Um, some of them are cheaper than others, of course. I had to pay a pretty penny to get the two that I wanted. But really nice to add to the collection if you get the chance. Um, just be mindful that like with the Brazilian as well, um, the it comes with the manual there. But that is in Portuguese, obviously. So um, just just be mindful of that. But a really nice subset to go for if you wanted to. So another subset that you could go for would be the US set. Um, it's slightly smaller than the PAL set because Master System didn't quite catch on quite as much when it was going, you know, straight like toe to toe with Nintendo. So I think there were only 114 games released in the US. So... Uh, here, here we've got, I mean, you can always tell because it's got the San Francisco Tonka address at the bottom. So that's how you can tell. But yeah, this was a, actually a US exclusive um, cartridge, Hang On and Safari Hunt, because we didn't get it on a cartridge over here. So you could just go for the US exclusives. And I think if you just went for the US exclusive games, there were about 11 or 12 you could probably check that up, uh, sorry, check that out and double double check on the numbers uh, on one of the forums, um, which would be either uh, uh, SMS Tributes, SMS Power or Sega Retro. Any of those websites will probably list what the US exclusives are. So if you didn't want to go for a full US set, you could just get the exclusive ones that they had that we never got in the UK or Europe. So another one of the sets that I absolutely love, but I probably won't go for a full set myself, is the classics. Now you can see this one here. I got this one a few years ago and I got it nice and cheap um, from a shop up the road that I ta I've talked about before up in Morecambe. Um, my buddy Andy, who runs the shop, an absolute legend. And um, yeah, his, uh, his prices are quite reasonable. Um, this is the um, Super Monaco 2 GP uh, brown paper bag, we call them, back in the day. I don't know if that's what you guys called them, but it's the Classics um, set. And again, if you go and check out Clint's videos, he's talked about these a lot. I think he's still missing two of them, uh, and the two he's missing really are, you know, they're, they're pretty pricey. Um, the, the expensive ones, I think, are Robocop versus Terminator and Master of Darkness. So those two really are quite tricky. But even, I think, like, there's um, Batman Returns, and I'm trying to think, is it Wimbledon? I think even the brown Wimbledon um, costs a fair bit these days. So if you if you ever spot any of the brown ones, I think there's a Flash one as well, so the Flash isn't cheap either. So yeah, if you ever spot them, then definitely, definitely worth picking up, um, for sure. So yeah, I think there's um, maybe 11 or 12 of these, maybe... Um, Again, just double, triple check on the forums to um, to do your homework if you're going to look at any of these. But a really nice set to collect for 
if you can manage to pick up, uh, you know, the two or three that are a bit trickier to find. So I've got another uh, US release here, but these are the Activision set. Um, there are four or five in this set, if you include Ghostbusters. Um, they're not all the same colour, so I've got a black one there in Bomber Raid. I've got a red one here in Rampage, and there's a couple of others in the US as well. I don't own all of them, so they are a bit pricier, some of the other ones that are out there. But definitely worth checking out if you're interested. I really like the red Rampage. It's just a really nice contrasting colour on the shelf um, from behind me with all of my other White Spine games. So yeah, it's a quite a nice one to get, and I, I didn't pay much for it. So yeah, um, a really nice subset again within the US, um, uh, within the US range. They're not they're not technically exclusive games, but they were re-released by Activision with these really cool uh, cases and artworks, which I really like. So that's pretty much it for all of the exclusive sets and whatnot. But you can also, if you want to go for your own, make your own sets up. You could potentially look at just getting all of the 3D sets. Um, uh, if you want to play them, of course, you're going to need a pair of 3D glasses. You're going to need a Model 1 Master System and a CRT TV. So those things do take up a fair bit of space. But that doesn't mean that it's impossible to do. You just need a bit of thought in terms of where you're going to put those things in your house. Um, if you've got your own retro gaming room, um, then you're pretty much set, you know. Uh, but yeah, you could potentially get all of the 3D games, which, um, you know, a couple of them are a bit trickier to find, like Outrun 3D, but most of them are, are fairly reasonable. And then lastly, you could potentially go for all of the action role playing games, these purple, uh, purple ticketed games that came out again over here in uh, in the UK. Just be careful. I mentioned earlier in the video that you can see at the bottom here if the game actually came out in America and a lot of the RPG type games that came out on the Master System um, did end, a lot of them actually I, I, would, I would imagine probably got sent back over to Europe from Sega of America to be marketed and distributed and sold here in the UK because it was um, a much better selling console but if you do want the PAL versions then, then just keep an eye out at the bottom here just be mindful that a lot of these did require the manuals um, to play back in the day. So a lot of the manuals went, went missing when you when you buy them. It's quite hard to get one with the manual. Uh, and if you do get one with the manual, the manual can quite often be very well used because you needed it to play the game. With some of them, you did get maps. So just make sure that you got the maps um, of these ones. And then lastly, just be mindful that these are one of the few exceptions where the manuals are portrait, not landscape, even though they did come out in the UK. So just be mindful of that. But yeah, they came with maps, some of them, not all of them. That's my copy of Miracle Warriors just there. And this one did come with a map, as you can see there. So yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, I just wanted to talk about all of the various collections uh, or subsets that you can go for with the Master System. I'm struggling to get this one back in the case now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there's plenty to go at um, that you can pick up along your journey, along your way to picking up a full set of um, PAL games. But even if you didn't want to do that, there are lots of other um, sets that you can complete uh, that make things a bit more manageable and a bit more bite-sized. I hope you found the video useful. Uh, I really enjoy making these videos. So um, do me a massive favour and hit the thumbs up uh, button on um, below the video. That would be a massive help to me. And I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Ah, there he is. Oi, Trigger. Yeah. You know my brother, don't you, eh? Yeah, of course I do. How are you going, Dave? <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Del boy. I had to pop around my sisters to arrange an alibi for next Thursday. Do you see? Del. Del. Why'd they call him Trigger? Does he carry a gun? No, it's because he looks like a horse. <laughs>